Alexa. Oh, and look what I've got. Here on our live radio show, Toss It Up. Woo! And speaking we, of that, it's kumquat it's season. It's kumquat season. Here we go. Let me let me get it the never kumquat. Because Audrey Turner has the cleavage that, well, you would I get lost in. You could get you lost could sleep in, in there. This? And sleep in there. You can sleep okay. in there. You can rest I don't your think head it's in there. That huge. Oh, Audrey. Well, yeah. I are mean, you, what do you know? What size bra you are? I do, what but I'm not that? saying that over this situation here. I think it's funny. Oh my god. Well, you do. I do think it's funny. I'm trying to. I get don't my... even know what size I am. Really? Um, I'm like a. a what am I, Jarvis? A B plus, C minus? Jarvis, <laughs> are you asking Jarvis what size cups you wear? <laughs> Jarvis, what's going on hey, he's, here? He's known hey, me for over two years. Go- yeah, and but it he, actually depends on. Yeah, but you most know. guys who know me don't know what size cup I wear. Well, they don't need to guess that's I mean, large, large. Jarvis, what size cup do I wear? I don't know. <laughs> Jarvis. He better not know. The thing about Audrey is it fits her, and she's not faking it, and they're real. Yeah, they're real. They're real and they're alive. And they're alive and I'm alive. And you're alive. That's right. And, you know, mine are real. And uh, you're alive. I'm alive, but I will tell you. <laughs> I have a question. I've always wanted to know how do the implants feel? I but know I how guess, they feel, my I girlfriend. I guess I will never, ever know because I'm not getting them. No, well, you don't need to. Too afraid. Let me put a kumquat in there. Let's hear come we go. Come quad. <laughs> come quad. It's come quad season. Oh. Woo! Let me catch that. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. I was so I, I close. Cut that We're kumquat. catching come quads in the cleavage. Oh, oh. Busting it up over I'm here. I'm gonna squeeze this limit in my water in the morning. <laughs> Toss it up. I have got lots to tell you. Well, I'd like to hear it, but I want to let oh. the live Facebook people know you are with Heidi Selexa and Audrey Turner. Yeah. On Toss It Up. Woo! And we are tossing up the latest scandal on the reality shows and pop culture and whatever it is that you want to talk to us about yeah you can call you can call us you know I, call I'll, us at what's the number 323 323 284 284 7826 7826 here i'll say it and you sing it 323 so i saw the photos in your book uh your life with ike oh you um, did ike turner yes. if you don't know audrey turner was is the widow of ike turner I am. And I love in your book how you said that in the trash tabloids, we're not going to say which one, it said he has 15 wives or something like that. But that's not true. And you said this is why you can't believe. You can't believe that shit. Sometimes. Is half of it true, though? Some of it is kind of true, you know. I mean, well, you don't know. But, you know, I hate when people say, you know, you know, you know, right? Right. Some of it's kind of (laughs) true. Right? (laughs) Some of it's kind of true and some of it's not. Well, Uh because I knew about... My situation and Ike's, Ike's situation, being Ike Turner, that that was all bullshit, that little stuff they put in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when Ike and I went on the Howard Stern show, well, actually, we were Hi, at home. Hi, Howard. Hey, Howie. Hi, we, Howie. We were at home doing a live reality show. Reality show right. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which was offered to us, I guess it was by VH1, a subsidiary, something. I don't really know. Okay. And... Um, Howard called the house. Howie called the house. Oh. He's, yeah. You know what? Howard is a very sweet guy. He is a sweet, handsome guy. Uh, isn't he handsome? He's very handsome and sexy yeah, in his own right. I know. Is that not saying he's sexy? No, but he's sexy. No, he's a sweet man. He's he, a sweet man. Yeah. I was Heidi Stern before Selexa. <laughs> they're both Are you my, serious? You both, were Heidi Stern? Yeah. Well, they're you both married my to, last names. How'd you get Stern? Well, it's a fam- It's in the family. Oh, it's in your family yeah. name. So he's like your relatively. <laughs> So anyway, how he called the house. Okay. And he likes Ike. I mean, he liked Ike. He never had a bad thing to say about Ike. Well, Ike Ike was sweet, right? Yeah, he was sweet sometimes. And sometimes he was very domineering to be 5'11". So anyway, how he called the house. Okay. And Ike's talking to him. And they're asking Ike about this rubbish and that little fancy inquiry. Can I say that? Uh, which, which the magazine Jarvis? Yeah, what do you think? I, I don't the think that's frick. a problem. It's true. Yeah. Then the Inquirer they wrote some problem. bullshit. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, Howie and his sidekick. <laughs> she's Robin? always laughing, Robin, and she's. I love I like Robin. Robin too. I love. So her. Howie's like uh, Ike, man. You're what about your wife? We're hearing this and we're hearing that, and Ike goes, uh, 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 oh, uh, man, uh, 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 my wife, uh, uh, she right here with me, man. Oh, and I'm like. Ee! 
honey, I don't want to talk. I hope he doesn't ask to talk to me because like I was scared were to talk to Howie. Were you nervous? Yes. Why were you so nervous? Because Howard Stern was like huge and he still is huge. So I'm surprised you got nervous though. I did. So Howie said, man, is she fine? Like to Ike and Ike says, oh, man, yeah, my baby fine, man. What you talking about, man? <laughs> you don't only have fine women, man. Uh-oh, what's going <laughs> And so Howie's like, can I talk to her? Uh And I'm like, honey, no, I don't want to talk. I'm like, no, no, no. But anyway, I get on the phone and I talk to Howie. He's very gentle. He's very nice. He's very sweet. He's very compassionate. Very compassionate. Mm -hmm. We're ruining his reputation. You know what? He wants to keep that bad boy. (laughs) He's still We're a just bad really boy, ruining and he's it very for him. compassionate. He's a very good right? father. But there's uh, girls. Is he a good father? He's a very good father. Ah. Imagine having uh, two teenager girls at the same time. Like that's difficult for anyone. That's amazing. That's difficult for anyone. Well, my dad had one. I, mean, I always have to count on my finger. Randy, Marsha, Arlene. I, he had four teenage girls at one time. Well, who, Ike were, did. Wait, who did? No, Howard? my daddy. Oh, your I dad. had some yeah. teenage girls too. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me about the girls. Chill. So listen, I was watching Ladies of London just briefly. You know what? I don't that have show's a lot to... interesting. It's fucked. I mean, it's not. It, well, not like that. I mean, it's like I was yeah, kind of bored. that out, Jarvis. I was kind of bored. <laughs> did you beep something out? You did I like, say a bad word? Yeah, like the you fuck? Said, you said you just did it again. Again. Okay. Now, so now you're supposed to be a, a positive influence. I am a positive for influence. For teenage girls. But these words come out of the dictionary, okay. too. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, so uh, Webster's... Well, I want to say this. I don't want to lose sidetrack. So the ladies of London, the one that her name is Caroline. Okay. She has these two hands. Mm. These two handymen or these two people who work for her. And I was, like, shocked because <laughs> wait, she... Wait, are they people or are they just hands? They're hands. <laughs> Handsome hands. <laughs> okay. And she says, uh, she says, could you get me a green juice? I'm poshed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a phone call. I'm poshed. Some... Okay, go ahead I'm and bring poshed. a caller on. And I'm like, uh-huh. okay, that's my, oh, okay, we have no, a no, caller. No, 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 And so she said, I'm poshed. And I'm like, really? No, she said, could you get me a green juice immediately? I'm poshed. Uh-huh. And I'm like, do not talk to them servants like that. But, you know, they may like it. Well, they may like it because they like their job. Well, they may like to But I would probably say, darling, could you get me a, a juice? Quickly. Jarvis, would you I'm get a thirsty. juice for somebody who asked you like that? Get me a juice immediately. I'm poshed. Well, yeah, no, well, it depends. Maybe that's their little trick, their little game. No, you don't do that. I wouldn't do that. Well, is she married? But she is married. Very. Well, they're very, 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 very wealthy. Very wealthy. So mm-hmm. she, she's like spilling herself and smelling herself. Okay. <laughs> we have a caller? <laughs> we do. Yeah, what's, hi. Hello, how hi. are you? Good, how are you? I can't hear the caller. <laughs> Welcome to Toss It Up. I'm Heidi Selexa, and I this is Audrey Turner. Hi, honey. I mean, hi, caller. <laughs> what's your name? Jarvis. This, this I can't is hear the Calvin caller. Jones. I can hear. A long time old okay. friend of, of Audrey's. Oh, Calvin. It's Calvin. You're... Hey, Calvin. Is that Calvin? <laughs> yes. Hi, Calvin. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I know Calvin. <laughs> I know Calvin. <laughs> well, Is that my Calvin like I grew up with as a little kid? Like we were exactly. teenage, well, we were in our early, exactly. early 14, 15. Exactly. Is that Calvin? Is he answering you? Yes, it, you it is him. It is him. Well, I wonder why she can't hear. Uh, do you have the wrong oh. set of headphones on, Audrey? If I do. Do I, Jarvis? Does oh. she have the, grab another, grab the other I'm headphone. I'm going to grab another set. Talk to, you know, Audrey is a singer, has been on tour with Ike Turner in the Calvin studio recording, me. and she doesn't know I, her I, headphones. I know. I know. I just, you know what? I, I have Hello. the book. I don't get anything here. Oh, you have you have her book. You have her book. Hello? It's uh, oh, yeah. here's uh, here's oh, yeah. here's oh, yeah. Audrey's book. Me and Audrey go way. Me and Audrey go way back. Calvin, I can't hear oh, yeah. a word you're saying. Well, no, I'm talking oh, to him. Oh my gosh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Give her some headphones. Okay, Give her some headphones. all right. We're, uh, here's Audrey's yeah. book. It's called uh, "Love Had Everything to Do with It: My Life with Ike Turner." First of all, we're over talking have... each other because I can't hear in my earphones. I don't even hear you talking. Do you hear me? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's probably just something I'm I playing. wonder why you guys aren't on five days a week. The two days aren't going to do it. You guys need to be on five. Aren't we fun? Days. I know. We have so much to say. Did Calvin say we were fun? Yeah, he said Hi, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know why we're not on five days <laughs> Hi, a week. Audrey, two days is you? not enough. <laughs> oh, my God. I got it. Hi, Calvin. What's up? It's so nice to hear your voice. How, what was the last time you oh, saw I tell him? You, it's been, it's we been were years. 14, it's been 15. years. Did you have a crush on her? Day. Did you have a no, crush on her? No, I was... He didn't, because I looked like a poindexter. I had four eyes on Calvin. I was so good. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, but you know what? 
But you were real, though. I mean, oh, honestly. she is very real. Audrey is very sweet. <laughs> Wait, that's too nice. He I says, got something for Wait, you. Calvin, I just said, Calvin, didn't I look messed up? I had glasses. He says, but you were real, though. That is oh, yeah. so oh, nice. Yeah. That's oh, like yeah. really saying you weren't you weren't cute then, but you're cute now. Right, Calvin? Oh, my God. You oh, hurt? my gosh. Hey, I can't imagine you. you not being cute. <laughs> wow, I am really very, loving you. Very, very attractive. Thank I mean, you, honestly, Calvin. I don't know. I, I don't know what your secret is, Audrey, but keep doing it. I mean, bottle it. Are you Sell looking? It. Are you looking at her? Are <laughs> you looking you. at her face, or is this the cleavage we're no, talking? about? I mean, the, I mean, the, I, I mean, the whole package. I mean, honestly, Thank you, inside yeah. out. So I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah. Aww. Keep doing what you're doing. So yeah, keep doing. Doing. so but but here's here's a here, here here's the glasses that my father I had glasses. Gave. Calvin, remember when I had my glasses? Hello, my name is Audrey I do, I do, I do. I can see you being the sweet girl. Hello. And my father thinks but, I should wear these and that I will attract the right man. Well, you Jarvis, <laughs> it, would you pick me but up were, in these but things? But you were still, but you were still cute, Audrey. I mean, I'm Thank you, Calvin. I mean, the glasses made you. you know? Look, I'm gonna take you, Calvin. I'm gonna take you back. Look. This is me. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so thanks for thanks for watching and, and listening, Calvin. Where are you from? Where do you live at right now? Right now I'm in Vancouver, Washington. That's maybe about two minutes from Portland, Oregon. Are I'm you, Calvin? Up, up north. Are up you in north, the entertainment yeah. industry, too? Because it seems like everybody they know is in the entertainment industry. I tell you, it's starting to blow up up here. You know, they started with Grimm, and it's just taken off. Uh, I mean, well, Seattle's uh, a big entertainment. I think it's cheaper to do movies and, and, and sing and stuff up, up this way because it's so, you know, starting anew, you know. And oh, well, maybe I, I need to that. come out there yeah. and do my yeah. movie with my story, my life with Ike, and, and maybe I should come there and do it. You know, I, Audrey, I mean, <clears throat> it's wide real. open up here. I mean, uh, the opportunity is... is, is you know, blowing up, and yeah. it doesn't, you know, break your purse. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and I, I yeah. Mean, doesn't it suck that in the entertainment? The cost of living is down, it's just honestly, yeah. That's yeah. sweet. So, That's sweet. So here's something people yeah. don't understand, Calvin, and you probably can vouch for yeah. this. People who are not in entertainment, they don't always understand the the hurdles and the leap holes that we have to go through and the, the, the struggles, and a lot of it is because... People just don't want you to succeed. So you're constantly working on your craft, and then you're constantly battling. That's a good point. You're constantly battling uh, people. And a lot of the time, it's not just men. You have a lot of jealous women. And, and if you're more talented to them, or if your success is more, it's then you're dealing with jealousy that jealousy. and envy. It's, it's those yes. it's, And I'll tell you jealousy what, and envy. it takes yeah. so much energy to battle that. You know what? This, this brings me to, to something. Like, all of my life, first of all, let me give kudos and a shot. Calvin, how's your brother? Oh, he's, okay. he's now she had a crush okay. on her brother. <laughs> let, let, let me just put it that way. He's he's surviving. Oh, let beautiful. Okay. Well, my Art, uh -huh. Art went to go see him about a month ago. Your brother Art uh -huh. went to see him about a month ago, uh -huh. and he's, he's still in California, so okay. he went to go visit him. But he's like in a okay, you know, a home. Okay. Unfortunately. Thing, okay. But, yeah. Nobody knows the story, yeah. so let's not go into too much. Detail. No, he could say. <laughs> well, my, we're reminiscing. We're, we're reminiscing. reminiscing. I know. And I, <laughs> my prayers are with him. But we were saying about people, Calvin, don't want you to yeah. make it and this and that. You know, I've experienced that all of my life. Mm -hmm. But you have to be okay. strong. You have to be vigilant. And you have to keep going. And you have to pray and forget about the haters and the naysayers. Because you know what? Haters only make yeah. you greater. And I know that's a common saying, but haters do make you greater. How? Explain that. Well, because. Oh, yeah. Jealousy some... and envy are those two things right there that just uh, makes the entertainment. Yeah. You know, put, the, put the scar on the entertainment. Yeah, because right. when so, someone tells me I can't, or she's not, or she's not there, I, you know, it kind of gives me the drive to keep on going. Exactly. Right, because you're exactly. you're. If somebody says you can't do something, you're gonna get. That's where a lot of your motivation. You're like, I'll show you. Yeah, but you know I what? Know, and then but, screw them. Like fuck right. them. I don't need to be. Excuse me. Here we go. Er, blurp. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need. Them. Even back in the day, Audrey, you were like that. I mean, you were really strong-willed. I mean, if somebody said something to you, you just you let them know. That's Glasses great. and all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you four eyes? I mean, Did you ever get called four eyes? You didn't take any. You didn't take any smack. You that's know? right. So, yep. Yeah. And you still have that characteristic in you today. That's that's good. Well, thank you, you know? for remembering. Oh, I, I need to get myself back. And I do have it, though. Uh, thank you, Calvin. Thanks, oh, Calvin. hugs, Calvin. It's nice meeting you, and thank you for your support. And uh, Oh, yeah. And can't wait to meet you, because I know, I know a lot of their family and friends. But I Calvin, have family now. Oh. 
I've been married Calvin's into the like family. Calvin's like family. We've been knowing him forever. Oh, well, Calvin, hello, you cousin. Can call. Yeah, forever, forever. Forever. Well, is this like a party line or is this like a radio line? It, I mean, what's this the... This is the radio the line. Honey, you're on the air. You are on UBN Radio oh, Network. Wow. We are on Tell them, I like honey. this. What, what, I like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're on UBN, iHeart, iTunes, Stitcher. And uh, you're, we're live. You can see us actually talking to you right now. Like, we're live. Oh, we're you got to be kidding me. Yes. I, I'm going to have to go online. Yeah. See so you'll be up. in oh radiolive.com. Oh, forget the dot com, honey. No com. <laughs> oh, no, there is a com. You guys have to He's do it. in radio.com. I know. We should. Anyway, wait, two days wait. aren't. The two days aren't cutting it. You guys need to be on five days a week and more than an hour. You know? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Jarvis said, I can, you be I, in radio.com. Is it Jarvis? <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Calvin. Hugs to you. Talk Bye, again. Calvin. Nice thank you. And you send both a, stay blessed. Send a photo. Yes. Thank you, Calvin. Call anytime. Okay. Look at my Facebook. You can see me right there. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you, Calvin. Oh, yeah. Look at his photo. He's handsome, girl. Love you much. Try. Have a nice one. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. You're going to try to set me up with Calvin? Well, maybe. You know, I, I'll i tell you what, Audrey and I walked down the street or mm -hmm. wherever, like just in the lot here at the studios. Handsome men, by the way. Yeah, they were. Our barista liked oh. us, too. Or, Who? or Ben, our barista guy. Oh, he likes us? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so whenever, wherever Audrey and I go, we attract people. But we I, do. You know, we have that magnetism. It's nice. It's nice to have a girlfriend that you can have fun with and not, because I'm shy when I'm by myself. You'd be surprised. When men, when men talk to me, I am so shy sometimes. Well, I'm not shy when I'm by myself because mm -hmm. I have to fight the fear. But oh. I'm kind of shy when I find out someone likes me. It's like I'll run, mm -hmm. like the cat chases the mouse. Is that what you did with that? Does Ike? the cat chase the mouse or the dog chase the cat? They all chase each other. <laughs> Depends on the moment. <laughs> the dog chases that cat. So that, right. So meow. I start running. Like, I, I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, right? He likes me. Yeah, I don't know. But, but then he might be cute and you might like him back. I do, but still, I'm going to run. You better come get it if you want If you want it. Uh -huh. He go, go, is mm -hmm. coming. Get it. Oh. But yeah. you better hurry because she's running <laughs> fast. Ow. Oh. You're running down the aisle in the grocery store. <laughs> With my cart. Pushing him grocery. It's not that I don't like you. I'm shy. Just keep chasing me. It's for Make real. Make it easy for me. But then guys have the same issue. They have an issue Do walking up to this? women. And, you know, and, and I see men all the time at, like, Rite Aid and CVS. They want to come up to me, and they just stare at me. And, and why don't, don't you know start chasing to... them and let them suckers run? No, because run. you can't <laughs> chase men. Yes, you can, No, honey. you cannot. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You're like, that's my man. Jarvis, you can't chase you men. You can chase a man. Look, if he sees a good woman and you're chasing him uh -huh. and he starts to run and he don't want you to be chasing him <laughs> then then he's gonna miss out on a good thing a good thing <laughs> right? okay because so, on a good thing because it's the woman who usually goes after them well the man will come and get the woman yes but the woman makes a decision well Heidi tear this place up I'm sorry, I'm trying just to tear it up scope. the woman makes oh, the decision God, to keep them hi Audrey <laughs> go ahead the woman makes the decision to keep the man. Yeah, and that's, you know, that that's what makes the relationship happen. <laughs> Women have more power than you think. We do have power. We birth them men. We Thank put them you, Jarvis. in the world, honey. But I don't know that it's facing on me. But they created they push the seed. They have the seed. Mm -hmm. We have the power to give birth and they have the seed to make it blossom. <clears throat> right, but sometimes they don't want to seed the flower. Or whatever. They always want to seed the flower, huh? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> they, speaking of seed the flower, honey, yesterday, of, by the way, I ovulated on both sides oh of my. Oh my goodness! I'm, you, you because I'm ovulation. Army, he doesn't know what ovulation is. Okay. Do you? Uh, you don't. Well, you feel it when you're fertile. Oh, you're damn right. You feel it. You don't know about the ovulation. Ov okay, let's do this. My mother was my junior high sex ed teacher. Okay. Yes, you can get pregnant standing up. Just a few standing minutes. Standing up. Oh yes, you can. You, you can, mean having sex standing up? You, it doesn't matter. You can you can get pregnant. Okay. Really. The second thing is what? You ovulate ten to fourteen days after the first day of your cycle. Men don't know this. People don't know this. They actually think it's like fourteen days after the last day. That's why people get pregnant unexpectedly. Oh, really? They don't know when they're ovulating. But you feel it when you're I, having sex and you get pregnant. No. And actually, no, you feel oh. that because I don't deal with that ovulating shit. <laughs> Okay. Audrey, can I wash your mouth out with soap? But how about washing my mouth out with coffee? Ooh, look. Is ovulating when you're feeling hot and steamy and like you're horny or something and like you want to have sex? <laughs> Had 
different and she doesn't know. Okay, I know more than I've that. I've had a wonderful, handsome ch- son. I've had one. You act like I've had yeah. a lot of children. I wish yeah. I had six children. I could have more. Your mom be had like, like a ton. Out of the Bible, like mm-hmm. like Jesus did for Mary, you know, <laughs> fix me up, Lord. Hook me knocking up. knocking her up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, let me just, because if God, if the Lord came down and blocked me, I'd be having orgasms for like freaking hours. Well, you know, they say that that's how you connect with the Lord. No, wait. Okay, that's way deep. Now let's go back to pregnancy. So you said you were ovulating. Are you trying to have a baby? I'm not, but I do want to freeze my eggs because I have not found the right man and what? time's a clicking. Or you better talk. freeze them. But I wouldn't want to Look be an egg just like, and know. be frozen so, because it's freaking cold. I'm already cold natured. Imagine if I would have been a frozen egg. I'd be freaking freezing all the time. <laughs> Here's the thing. you When the eggs drop... When the they drop. they last in your uterus uh-huh. for uh for one to four days. That's why they say from the tenth to the fourteenth day. So if you keep having you're sex fertile. for four days straight, you should probably get pregnant. You should be able to get pregnant. Yeah. What if you have sex for the whole freaking month? Well, you you might every day. You, like you're, you can't get pregnant more than once <laughs> at a time. <laughs> but they so, can, but you can feel it, and so it's painful, it. and you get cranky. That's probably why I was a little cranky yesterday. Like, I don't freaking know. I don't Constant. understand people who say they didn't know they were pregnant until five months into it. How the heck? Honey, those happen? bitches knew they were pregnant. They just didn't say it. <laughs> they knew. They were like, "I'm getting this man." So they're like, "Hey," they like, "I'm getting this what. man." <laughs> I agree with you. I totally they agree with you because they, women do that stuff. And, the, and then all of a sudden, oh, honey, look at the. <laughs> And then they bring this dog on a pregnancy test and be like, hmm, I'm going to check it. Mm-hmm. And they go to the bathroom and they check how, it. I'm how checking did this it. happen? I'm checking the test. How did this happen? And they happen? come up and they look and they go, <gasps> oh, f- I'm pregnant. Oh, my gosh. And the whole time they planned it. Okay. And they knew it. And yeah. then they get to the man. They'd be like, Jarvis. <laughs> I'd be like, Jarvis. <laughs> Jarvis, do you want to be a daddy? Jarvis, I, I got something I want to tell you. you know? <laughs> hey, what what does a woman say? Let me say? live this out. What does a woman say when she's getting ready to tell a man that she's I, pregnant? What does she say? What, Jarvis, does this ever happen? What does she say, Jarvis? I think this is how this is how it goes. Tell me, because I'm holding this test. Um, we need to have a talk. <laughs> exactly. So I'm doing this to Jar- Jarvis. We need to have a talk. We need to have a talk. And then and then he's like, uh oh, you know. And whenever women say the word talk, it doesn't matter what content. Honey. They could be saying, I'm talking to a girlfriend. All they hear is talk. They're like, I'm running for the this. This is what I would do. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-huh. This is what I would do. I'd fix Jarvis like a good ass dinner. <laughs> With some lingerie. And I look, I get my stuff right, honey. I get everything right. I'd be like, Jarvis. We need to talk, honey. Remember a long time ago? <laughs> a long time ago. It's like Remember a month ago. Remember a long ago. time ago when I was saying that I was feeling kind of funny? Well, look, I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? Of course it's yours. <laughs> of course it's yours. I've only had sex then, with you. The next thing is, are you sure it's mine? Then Jar- Jarvis. <laughs> How do I know it's mine? He's trying to figure it out, like, you know, because now we have college to plan and, and elementary school and stuff. No, and bills. he's not thinking about that yet. He's thinking, how the hell can I get away from this? But he's this. not going to get away from because I would taunt you. <laughs> oh, man. I could see her. Speaking of that, let me tell you something. In the reality show Love and Hip Hop. Now, I do love me some Stevie J, honey. Mm-hmm. Let me just say, let I like say, Stevie why, J. Is this, a, is this a romantic attraction thing that you have for him? Or is you this know, because you just think he's cool? I, I think... A lot of people have their own thoughts about Stevie J. But I think Stevie J is suave, he's handsome. You know what's attracting about Stevie J? What? The same thing that was attractive about Ike Turner. But it's not that. It's I, I, the confidence. I'm not going to call it levels. Mm-hmm. Stevie has some OG in him. OG? OG. What's that? That's like is that that uh, marijuana? the man who makes. <laughs> what? I hear that. The, the, the OG. Are... Let me tell you what OG okay, is. Real I don't quick. know what OG is. OG is. What women like. They have this quality that drives women to them. Okay. That's called confidence. He has confidence. Confidence. 
And he plays all these freaking instruments. Like I played drums. Stevie plays drums. He plays guitar. I play guitar. He plays bass. I play bass. He plays, I'm sure Stevie plays a horn. He plays like five dr- instruments. He can do everything. And so that's a turn on. Like he can do it all. He's in control of his whole atmosphere. Right. So, so this is the thing. You were saying you could never marry somebody who was not at a level of Ike Turner or higher. Right. That's a tough because he was baby. Very, that's it. Ike is like is known as one of the most talented musicians on the planet. Jimi Hendrix and Prince. Well, look, wait a minute. Let me just back that up. Okay, okay. You won't back that up. I, okay. okay. And I was going to talk about Stevie J, but we'll get back to that. Yeah. Stevie J, love hip hop. Stevie, you're the bomb. So you you mentioned Jimi Hendrix and um, Prince. Prince. Well, I be- Prince loved Ike Turner. Mm-hmm. He admired Ike Turner's work. He admired admired Ike, Turner, Ike Turner's uh, uh, work ethics. His his genius. His creativity. All that. And I Prince, just love watching her. She's so dramatic. She's like his creativity. <laughs> mm-hmm. Prince liked that. And did you know that you probably didn't know? Ike told me this story. I'm okay. gonna keep it short and sweet. Okay. Because I know I'm talking a lot. You shouldn't have bought me this talk on coffee. I'm telling you what, I don't know that I'm going to do job. that again. I don't know it's if I'm going to get her coffee it's again. My, <laughs> it's my job. I thought I had energy. <laughs> you know, Ike Turner hired Jimi Hendrix back in the day to play for him. And Jimi Hendrix was on his own thing. He was like doing his own stuff. So Ike's like, man, oh, uh, 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 man, what is the, what the shit you playing, man? What is that? Mm-hmm. Man, get the... So oh. he fired him. <gasps> Why? Because Jimi Hendrix wasn't playing what Ike required for him to play like Ike didn't want you all over the place and Jimi Hendrix was hearing his shit I mean so, uh, stuff you mean, it. you mean in his mind in his, his mind the way he wanted the song was, to go yeah. it's very hot so Ike fired Jimi Hendrix whom he admired but Jimi wasn't playing his stuff mm-hmm. but Ike still respect Jimi because Jimi was doing his stuff you know, and so Jimmy went on to become this great legend. Hey, Jimmy! Yes, baby. Yes, he did. He went on to become this great legend. Wasn't his favorite color purple? A- as as Prince, like Prince. You know, yeah. and so he went on to become this great legend, mm-hmm. as well as Ike Turner became this great legend. And so great legends, they had bumped heads together and worked together. Isn't that beautiful? Like you and I. Oh, yeah, right. Well, we don't have. Do we bump heads? We, we bump them and we work the heads. Sometimes we do. Yeah, we're. Bu- well, she's had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> I don't know where I'm bumping around over here. I'm like, whoa, let's channel the energy. <laughs> you're like ADD. You're all over the place. I'm all over the place. Did you have ADD as a child? I did. That's why I'm so gifted. Yeah, me too. That's I'm what tooting. they said. Yeah. I'm tooting, but right? I'm not really tooting. Well, you know, I told you that my brain works 40 to 50 times faster <laughs> than the average person, which I'll be 140 by the time I get Alzheimer's. It's terrific for I, my career. So, so we were saying about, I love you. Ike Turner, and then I loved you, Jimi Hendrix, and then I love you, Prince, because you mentioned those three all mm-hmm. together, right? So we love you. And Stevie J, we love you too. So I was saying about Stevie J, honey, he's an OG. Stevie J was in love with Faith Evans. Here's the thing. Oh, I like her. I love her too. Big Papa's um, wife, right? The widow. She's a widow like me. Oh. I don't know if she's remarried or what. Uh-huh. But Stevie J started courting her, dating her mm-hmm. on Love and Hip Hop, right? Right. So they're all in love, and he's taking her out on dates, and Stevie J goes and hangs out with the guys. He's like, I'm just going out on a vacay with the boys. Oh, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And the boys, like, they... Jarvis, tri- what does that mean? What does that mean, he's Jarvis? Going, he's going to get a little nookie little on the side. Nookie. little nookie. nookie well, on the side. I would never to trust be... it. You've got to be careful when men No, Stevie like was that. being straight up strong. It's like he told his fellas, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a one-woman man, woman, man. One man, woman. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I'm a one woman, and I'm with Faith, and he's loving Faith Evans. So he goes on this vacay with the boys. I'm going to make it quick. Mm-hmm. And the boys, he get in there, and the boys have all these foxes with these big boobs and these big asses and just really hot. And Stevie's like, man, I thought I was just going to chill with you guys. I thought it was for us. So they said, man, what good is a vacay without women? Well, you, Were they trying to get him to cheat? No, they wanted him to have fun. They wanted they the wanted old Stevie to, J back because they, they didn't well, have that. That's what so I'm anyway, they wanted him to cheat on his girlfriend. Do you think Stevie got tempted? I think he did. He got tempted. Of course he did. Stevie, why did you do that? He I probably think it's just did it the too. OG in he you. probably did it too. He did something. He I don't know something. what he did, but he, he went well, back he did to Faye. You know what he did. He did something. There's just you don't need he, to even. Ex- you know what he did. I don't know if he touched that flower. Well, he did. I'm telling you right now. There's no way he didn't. Okay, so he went back to Faith. 
right? Of course, because she this other he got flower, home. This other flower was a temporary, <laughs> a temporary, <laughs> temporary thing. So he got right. home. He got home and he was like happy to see Faith. He's like you know because they live apart in different cities. He's in Atlanta. I don't know where, where's Faith. Uh, she's in her town in her have city. No idea. Okay. And um, so he took her out to lunch. He had a white carriage and horses, baby, and took her to the park. Would you forgive a guy, though, if he cheated on you, if he brought a horse and carriage? Let me think about it. I mean, think about it. Where do you draw the line? At some point. You got to draw the line. You have someplace. to draw the line at some point. So, baby, he, they, they drove in his horse and carriage, and then they got out and walked in the they park. They drove in his horse and it carriage. It was so glamorous. Uh -huh. And he gets out and he goes, I want, he pulls out something out of his pocket. Yeah, and man. he says, I want to tell you something. And Steve is looking so, uh, Faith is looking so beautiful, just gorgeous. And he says, I want to ask you a question. And, and, and Faith looks at him like, don't do it. What was the question? Because I already know the shit you've already pulled. Don't what, do it. What's the question? And he's like wanting to spend his life. He says, Faith, I want to spend. Uh, he's kind of proposing to her. Uh -huh. She flat out said no. Because you know what? He cheated on her. Faith says, you know me better than that, Stevie. Mm -hmm. She says, I am better than that. I've been through too much in my life. I've been through too much. I know the game, Stevie. Why are you? And I know you, Stevie. I'm your friend. And she walks away, and Stevie walks with her, and he's like, you know, he bites it like an OG. He know he fucked up. So he bit that like an OG, mm -hmm. and it was over. I mean, but I hope that they're still friends. What do you? I so, don't even know if, I mean, I could think you, you stay with a man who, like, you knew who cheated? Oh, heck no. Really? No, my ex fiance cheated on me. Are you kidding? And I tortured him for you a year. You couldn't stay with him? Oh, heck no. Really? I didn't love him anyway. I was trying to change Stand him. This by is a problem. Yo, man. You know when you really love someone. Right. Right? And yeah. you know when you're lying to yourself. Yeah. You just are really hoping that you can change this person and make that person who you want True. Them to be. There's no way this guy would have ever been who I wanted him to be. Well, um, so that was my mistake. The, yeah. Yeah, that was my fault. Like, you know what I mean? You know what you're getting into. And the fact that we still do these insane things where you try to change somebody and make them, you know, be you the way you nobody. want them to be. It's not. You can't do it. Well, here's the thing, gals. I know. I can be a little insane. But not, not today. I think Audrey's <laughs> Am I a little insane? A lot of <laughs> You're just chatty, Kathy. I don't even know how to keep up. Like I'm just, I'm trying to go like circle. This Jarvis. is like, this is how a man would be on a Jarvis. date. I feel like I'm a man. Jarvis. You know, Audrey, why don't you just ask him out? I'm sorry. I think Jarvis is cute. He's like, I think Jarvis is freaking hot. Jarvis, you dress by but the way. But then if I ask him out and we you. start doing the boom, 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 then we come to work and be like really awkward. <laughs> Shit. I have to look at Jarvis. <laughs> when guys see each other, they're like this. Look, come here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, this high five thing. That means they fucked you. <laughs> <gasps> what? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, yes. whoa, 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 whoa. Jarvis, is that true? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like this. When they do it, when they see you. That means they fucked you. When they do this to a girl, when they see no, them. No, to a guy, another guy. They're like, I hit that. <laughs> but how do they know what girl they're talking Don't about? Don't matter. I hit that. In the room. Oh, my God. Is that what your brothers told you? Yeah. My brothers don't tell me that. My brothers and I are close. I'm like, bro, I, you want to hit that? Too, look at that ass. Just... I mean, like, when we were coming up, <laughs> I'd be like, look at that ass. Ooh, ooh. Oh I'd be like, we'd be driving, my brothers and I. Like, one of my brothers, I'm not going, hey, Art. Hey, Manny. Oh, hey, Art. Hey, How Drew. Are you? What's up? We'd be driving in mm. Art, like, well, okay. Don't trip, because he don't like you to talk about him. Okay, but we'd be I'll driving. Just, just, just get to the point. You're talking a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to let you talk through the whole show here. I'm not saying a word. This is... And usually it's you. I'm like, get to the freaking point. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's me. Now it's you. Now it's you. It's me. I always get to the point. It just may take me. I'm with rough. you, Jarvis. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you guys talking about me now? We're talking about... <laughs> I'm just not saying a damn word. Wait, trying to stick something in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck is that? She tried to put something in my mouth. Well, it didn't fit in your mouth, but it fit in the cleavage. Okay? I haven't had anything in my so, mouth. Anyway, back to Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> By the way, I have Periscope on live. Thanks for watching and listening. Hi, Periscope. But I don't like the lighting on it. I love the lighting on it. Okay, I love okay. the lighting on everything. You know, today I'll have to say you're actually gawking at yourself a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving myself. <laughs> Babies, love yourself. Know who you are. I just want to say something. Because we were talking about, would you go with a man <laughs> that cheated? <laughs> oh, it is so hard, honey. Let me fan with my book, baby. 
<laughs> Gee, that's not free advertisement. Here, you need to have another blot blotter. Hey, Jarvis, Look, did you want a blot blotter? Let me fan blot 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 Hi, Daddy. Let me fan it. Because I was getting ready to say something about, would you go with a man that cheats? No. Yeah. Or would you try to change a man? Why well, did not try to change Ike Turner? Because he was already who he was. And a lot of women say, hi, Facebook. Uh-huh. They don't say that shit. <laughs> A lot of women say <laughs> you people are having a hard time following along here. Baby, if you can't follow me, then you can't follow yourself. So here's the thing. Okay. Um, I let him be him. I let my man be who he is. A lot of people say, well, why did Ike Turner love her so much? And why was she so different from any other woman? Because I am freaking different. And I didn't try to, try to change him. Uh-huh. I admire the fact that the women loved my man, baby. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's like you a know, turn he, on. It's he, like a turn on. He was married to four. Uh, you were the fourteenth wife. Well, I was the f- yeah, the fourteenth wife. So women did. He had a way with women. He had a way with them, honey, and yeah. I had a way with him. I bet Jar- <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis mm-hmm. said, "Jarvis is like, I don't, we're not." I'm sure I can imagine you guys. I mean, look at them. This they they have very hot, steamy, passionate love. You guys we were really real soulmates. It was hot, honey. You know. So let me just love you, darling. I don't know. I mean, but so what, I you know I don't try to control people. I let them have this. right. <laughs> honey, he's looking at me. She's looking at me like really, Audrey. <laughs> Do you know that I'm putting on eyeshadow and she has not even noticed it? She's so into gawking at her own self and, the, and she's not even Woo. She's not even noticed. She would normally say, girl, why are you putting on makeup? You don't need any. And yet she's got like these big old fat red lips. I know, right? Aren't they juicy? Who do you think has more lipstick in their purse, Audrey or me? <laughs> I only have uh-uh. one too, baby. Child. I love it. Oh. I think some shows are great, and most of them are junk. And I have a really hard time watching reality shows. Audrey is a big, huge fan. She's a junkie. Huge fan. Right. And we have something that will be coming around soon. We do. We have a show that's going to be coming around. Um, Watch for it, baby. We're going to toss that up. Uh, uh, there's another reality show that I love, too. I love a little, all the love and hip hop ones. Uh-huh. I love the LA one. I love the little. I love. Do you know that we can. <laughs> she lost it. <laughs> do you know... Do you know that we can she walk? We could walk it. down the street here in L.A. and and we could walk down the street in L.A. and we would be confused as to what show they're on if they're even on a show. You never know who's on something because somebody's always on a reality yeah, show in and L.A. Not, it's and like, not everybody watches every reality show, but obviously you can tell I'm a big fan of okay, reality I have something, TV. Not really. I have something. I do I like The Biggest Loser. Want to know why? Because I think it's encouraging. Except I do. I love what's her name, uh, uh, Jillian Michaels. Uh-huh. I was going to produce one of her uh, radio shows. Were you? Yeah, but you know, I. How do you feel about that Biggest Loser thing? I, well, I think it's great that people are losing weight. Uh, I the just, Biggest I just, Loser. Why don't they call it the Smallest Loser from being big? Right. Well, because you're losing weight, and so they had to be creative and come up with that name. Oh Never. my gosh! Speaking of that, mm-hmm. I watched. My Big Fat Life. Oh, I didn't. I don't know that one. It's like The Biggest Loser. Okay. There so was a woman. I love they, this. Are sh- they heavy people? They're losing weight. Baby, six hundred pounds. Oh, dear, who's six hundred pounds? The How lady do you get was to be Glory, pounds? Glory, Glory. There she is. Is that her? No. Oh, he, yeah. He hey, just, that's the biggest. Is yeah. that? No. How about My Big Fat Fabulous Life? Okay. Or what is this show? When the I love you, Jarvis. What, what is this show? Don't get tripped, people. <laughs> Okay, we- no more coffee for Audrey. <laughs> She's never having coffee during a radio show again. I have no control over her. She's like a wild fish on the end of a hook, and I'm trying to reel it in. And all of a sudden, this little fish turns into a big shark, and I am I am seriously unable to keep control of you. Let me of just you. cool it down. Yeah, just Let me have a back. sip. Okay. Look how much coffee I oh, drank. Oh, dear Lord, not a sip of that. Okay, well, just, sh- okay. I'm happy about that show because they help people's lives. This woman was 630 pounds. That's a lot of heavy. Look at how heavy. Where, but she lost it there. That's she's smaller there. So that show helps people to get better. What? So uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> what so, was that? Okay, <laughs> and then there's another one. I think this one is is okay. really. Uh, I don't know. I I'd like to think this but, show is good. Paroles and people, people and paroles. That one. Oh, when the people come out of jail and they're on par- that. That's a good show. The thing is, is I just wouldn't want somebody who has an issue with. Um, this is for me. 
pit bulls can be aggressive. I've raised a pit bull. You have two pit bulls. Your pit bulls love we me. We talked about that. Yeah, I just before. think it would be difficult for me to trust somebody who is naturally aggressive if they were in Am jail. Am I naturally for... aggressive? No, I'm but not a pit bull. You're, you're not on parole either. I'm okay. not. Thank the Lord. Although I think I should put her on parole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Don't saying. put me on parole, honey. So I'm just saying that show that show is interesting. It's a little boring. Um, I, I, I don't know that I would trust all those people with a pit bull. Because pit bulls can turn on you. Well, I have a show for you that I mm -hmm. watched. Beverly Hills Housewives. Oh, gosh. That one's boring. No, it's, you know, the one that you, like, what's going what, on Lisa with the- Lisa Baby, let me tell you what Lisa Reiner did. Did she just did. get her lips done again? Let me tell you what she did. What'd she do? Oh. Mm -hmm. Lisa Reiner, <clears throat> with those lips, went around talking shit. About her friends? About She's like Kyle's I would, sister. I would not trust her as a this friend. This is what happened. She was stirring up the stuff. She went to Vanderpump, who mm -hmm. was another Be Beverly Hills housewife. Okay. And um, Kyle and Vanderpump, they were out on this vacation. Lisa hadn't arrived yet. Okay. 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 So they were just talking. Uh -huh. And so Vanderpump said, honey, I need to tell you something. She's from London, so where's my London accent? She's like, you know, Kyle. Well, obviously you're not doing it, but keep what going. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing something. <laughs> She says, you know, uh, Lisa is going around saying, stirring up things. And so Kyle is like, what? So this is what Lisa said. Jarvis is saying, move it along. Yeah, you can tell Audrey when she's talking. Lisa went on and told everybody that Ky Kim, Kyle's sister, was not sober and that she is very, very drunken and that she is on the verge of the end. Kim was so pissed. Kyle was so pissed. This is the Beverly Hills housewife. You know what? I don't think they have anything more to do with their time but to gossip about each other. Right. I think it's just, I think it's, it, it's not exciting. I, I'd like to see, you know what I'd like to see on a Beverly Hills? Speak for Hills? yourself, honey. It's exciting to me. Well, it's exciting to you, and I don't know why, because, uh, you know, well, you know, you have a life. I do. But I do. I have you a do. Life. You have a life. But see, the thing is, is where, what I'm saying is I think that the show needs to be more exciting. You I want to see. Why don't we go in there and toss those bitches uh, Well, I thought, yeah, right? Yeah, let's go in there and toss up some exciting stuff. Right. But I don't want to have to marry someone I don't want to marry who's a rich man. You can be just alone. Just because he's rich. I, well, no, I don't want to be alone. I just want to marry the right person. Well, I just I don't want to marry for the wrong reasons. And I'm very picky. Well, it, it has to be a feeling. It has to be in your soul. Right? right? So let me see you toss it up. I think you just oh. wore Jarvis out anyway. So hey. sing the song. Hey. Uh. Hey, it's kumquat season. What are we let doing Let me see you toss it up. Yes. Yeah. I'm Audrey Turner. And I'm Heidi Selexa. And we toss it, it out. out. Woo! Woo!